In this video, we will review the movie Pain Hustlers, directed by David Yates and star cast Emily Blunt, Chris Evans, Catherine O'Hara, with IMDb 6.3 rating. Movie plot, Liza dreams of a better life for herself and her daughter. Hired to work for a bankrupt pharmaceutical company, Liza skyrockets with sales and into the high life, putting her in the middle of a federal criminal conspiracy. Based on true events, the movie tells the story of a blue-collar woman who gets involved in a dangerous racketeering scheme after taking a job at a failing pharmaceutical startup. While some may compare it to other opioid-centric releases, Pain Hustlers shares more similarities with the movie Boiler Room. The movie follows Emily Blunt's character, a single mom struggling to make ends meet, who is offered a job by Chris Evans's slimy and sly character. Together, they aim to make huge profits by selling a product that no doctor is prescribing. The focus of the movie is not on the drug itself, but rather on how Blunt's character transforms the sales arena and grows the company. However, their success comes at a price as they begin to blur the lines of legality. One of the highlights of the film is the relationship between Emily Blunt's character and her daughter, played by Chloe Coleman. Their interactions feel genuine and capture the highs and lows of a mother-daughter relationship. While the movie primarily focuses on the growth of the company, the mother-daughter dynamic adds depth and emotional complexity to the story. The movie Pain Hustlers shares similarities with the tense and exciting movie Boiler Room. Both movies depict individuals who come into a business, shake up the protocols, and make everything work. However, their success is short-lived as their sketchy business practices catch up with them. While Pain Hustlers drifts away from the complete disregard for ethics, it still showcases the cutthroat nature of the sales industry. Emily Blunt delivers a strong performance as the determined single mom, while Chris Evans portrays a dirtbag character reminiscent of his role in Knives Out. However, Evans' character lacks depth and fails to leave a lasting impression. Supporting actors Catherine O'Hara and Andy Garcia also deliver decent performances, but their characters are not particularly memorable. One of the drawbacks of Pain Hustlers is its overly long runtime. The movie takes too much time to build up the drug sales empire, leaving the conclusion feeling rushed. The narrative could benefit from trimming some of the earlier scenes to allow for more development in the finale. Additionally, the movie fails to create an emotional connection with the characters and the plot, resulting in a lackluster experience. While Pain Hustlers has its strengths, such as the performances of Emily Blunt, Chloe Coleman, and the dynamics between the characters, it falls short in creating an emotional connection with the audience. The rushed conclusion and lack of originality in the storytelling make it a mediocre watch. Overall, the movie receives a rating of two and a half out of five couches. In conclusion, Pain Hustlers offers an intriguing premise based on true events, but fails to deliver a compelling and emotionally engaging story. The performances of Emily Blunt, Chloe Coleman, and the dynamics between the characters are the highlights of the movie. However, the rushed conclusion and lack of originality make it a forgettable experience. If you're looking for a good drama, there are better options available.